What's up guys and gals, welcome to another video on this SFML Pong game development series. I'm finally ready to the start of coding and this is going to be the first episode where we're finally going to start of coding, yay! So, um, yeah, so in the last video we set up SFML in our computer with Visual Studio and I hope that it worked for everyone. So, uh, once you have uh, watched the previous video, if you haven't, I'll leave a link in the description box below or somewhere in the card or somewhere. So uh, if you, uh, once you uh, have linked SFML in Visual Studio with C++, you are basically ready to start coding this awesome Pong game for all you beginners out there. So let's okay. Without me talking, let's uh, jump right into it. Uh, am I recording? Yep. So uh, let's head on over to source files, right click, add, and class. Yes, I'm going to take this to in an object-oriented approach. C++ is an object-oriented language, and I think you should incorporate object-oriented um, tips in your program uh, if you need it, of course. So I'm just going to name it Game Class. So this class is going to be in handle of all the game-related things, like creating a window, like initializing a window for us, and initializing our players, and like moving, updating, and rendering, literally and everything that's uh, in for in for a game this class is going to handle that so let's do a uh, pragma oh, pragma ones here and uh, make sure that it's uh, okay so I think I should have said it uh, way before but before you get into the series make sure that you guys know some basic C++ okay uh, not some crazy amount of C++ just some basics of it and from basics I mean some variables and functions and loops and namespaces and a little bit of object-oriented programming concepts like uh, public fields, private fields, what are classes, what are structs, okay? And maybe a, a small, uh, a handful of knowledge of pointers, okay? Because we, we are going to be using pointers. We are going to be <coughs> taking some advantage of uh, pointers that we have in C++ because C, C, C and C++ gives us the ability to... Uh, uh, manage memory by ourselves instead of the computer doing it, unlike in other programming languages like Java or Python. Okay, so this is going to be our game class. So we're obviously going to have two fields. We're going to have a private field and we're going to have a public field. You guys should know what I'm writing, so that's why I'm telling you make sure that you guys know some basics of the very, very basics of C, just like I told already. So uh, let's get okay, this game.h header file and let's uh, just open the uh, game.cpp file. Awesome. Uh, I think I'll put this right. I'm gonna put the main here and put the game.header file right here. So in the private. So uh, we are going to. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to delete this include from here and we're gonna have all our includes in the game.h and this main.cpp is going to include the game.h file. This file. So uh, the first include is of course we need the. I IO stream for all the C out and C in and for the console um, you uses and another include is of course we also need the SFML graphics library that we uh, set up in the last video so SFML slash graphics dot HPP so this is what we're gonna contain all the uh, tools or basically the blueprints the classes and the uh, the classes and the namespaces that we need in order to create the window and the shapes and things like that, which will, which will come later, don't worry, it will come later. So, the first thing I, what I want to cover up is uh, that everything in SFML begins with a, is inside a namespace. So I really want to give, it, I really want to take this in a practical approach and I really want to show you guys what I'm talking about. So if we go where we have our SFML, so SFML right here, uh, and if you go to the include folder, SFML, and this is the this is all the things that, that we have and remember this this graphics.hpp is the file that we included this include sfml slash graphics.hpp is the file that we included now if we take a look at this file here we can have all of these things uh, see so it's going to include all the look this this is what's going to contain in that it's going to have fonts and render targets and shaders and shapes and sprites and text and everything you need so uh well uh I think, wait, I'm, I'm trying to show you one thing. Let's uh, let's try to open another one. Let's try to open, uh, let's go to window. Okay, so the first thing we have to create a window. Let's go to the, uh, let's, let's check out any one of these. Let's go to video mode. And as you can see, it's inside a namespace called SF. Okay, this class called video mode is inside a namespace called SF. Now this is actually, now this is actually true for every single uh, header files. See? 
every single header files every single class that is asset that is in SFML library is inside a namespace so what that means is that let me just close this uh, extra things that I open okay so what that means is that if you want to access some classes from the SFML graphics library you need to have the SF call call namespace so first what we are doing we are trying to create a window because we want the window to draw and like display because window is everything right so so we're going to have SF call colon colon and the class that is responsible for creating the window is called render window okay SF render window and let's make a new instance of the class window actually I think we're gonna make it a pointer yeah let's make it a pointer SF render window window and the next thing what we're going to do is now what does a window has as an attribute a, a window has a width a height and a title okay like this title so we're just going to declare some private variables this is going to be an integer of width height uh, and it's going to be a string it's a c style string called title so so these are basically our uh, fundamental window attributes and this is going to be the class that's going to be responsible for uh, creating and uh, for initializing and creating the window. Okay, awesome. And what I think I'm going to have another uh, variable called F FPS, and this is basically going to uh, tell how much FPS we we, uh, we 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 are going to have. And the normal level is 60. So I think we are going to cap this game at 60 frames per second. We're not going to go crazy on this. So in the public, we of course want the constructor and the deconstructor. Awesome. So let's go to game.cpp and define these uh, methods, constructor and the deconstructor. And uh, remember, we have to put this game dot call colon colon in front of every functions because this tells that it is from it is indeed from the game class. Okay constructor deconstructor all set so what does constructor do it initializes our variable so we so we're going to initialize our width as going to be around uh, i want this around 800 our height is going to be around 600 so we're going to 800 by 600 it's going to be uh, a, a small window i don't want this to be crazy full screen full screen and i don't want to go all out in this because it's a simple pong game at the end of the day so width height fps frames per second as I told already, we're gonna cap our FPS to 60 frames per second because that is the median. I think, yeah, that that is where the performance and the, the performance and visual qualities are. I think really in the between in 60 frames per second. That's why I suggest this frame rate. I'm gonna have another function called init win init window. So this is basically gonna initialize our window, and of course I will have to create this function here, and this is gonna be a private function. So void means that it's not going to return anything in a window. Awesome. So I'm going to define this window right here. Uh, I will define this function right here rather. So void from the game class in a window. Awesome. And basically all, all this is going to do is going to initialize the window. Now remember the uh, the object of the window class is called window. So so we have to do is window equals new sf render window and this is going to take us all the attributes for the window for example the width and the height so for the width and the height way we are going to pass it into a class there's another class called video mode and 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 as you can see that it takes a uh, if i could show you guys right here in the actual documentation secrets of pro project uh externals sfml i'm going to go to include FML uh, window and there's something called video mode and as you can see it, it has a class called video mode and the, and there are two two types of constructor and, the, and this is the constructor that we're going to using it's going to take a width and a height so you can see here it's going to take unsigned into width and a height and this is just bits per pixel we don't we don't need that as you can see it is just automatically so defaultly set to uh, to 32 we don't want to change that so yeah the basically it needs a width and a height for our window so we're gonna pass in that. We just have uh, some variables called width. Remember that we just declared width and height. The next thing it needs is a title, and of course we have the title as title. I think we haven't. Uh, yeah, we haven't initialized the title. So we're gonna put the title as 
uh, SFML Pong game. Awesome. And that's basically it. That's how we initialize the window. Now, now remember, as we are using a pointer, we're not we are not using a normal object of a class. We're using a pointer. So we are yeah we are using a pointer and we're and we're declaring this in the heap of our RAM. See, I'm using the new keyword. New new keyword basically returns the memory address. Okay, so we're you are declaring this in the uh, in the he in the heap so what we have to do is we, uh, is in turn at the end of the video we, uh, at the end of the at the end of our program we will have to delete window B basically we have to do this in order to prevent memory leaks just uh, just keep that in mind and uh, we're gonna set our frame rate. so window uh, set frame rate limit and of course we have set our variable as 60 so we're gonna use that variable so great, we have initialized the window. That's basically all we have to do for our window. So let's go to the public and make more two more functions. So this is going to be void update and void render. And this is going to be our game loop function. Now what I mean by game loop is uh, I will tell you later. And I will have another, uh, I'll probably have another one called uh, boolean running and then default is going to be set to false. So and we're going to, to game.cpp and as soon as our window is created, we're going to set running is equals to true. Running is equals to true. And at the end of the at the end of the destructor, I think I'll set the uh, running to be equals false. But uh, but wait, I will we will not do it here because we haven't done all the polling and the events yet. So if we, so uh, now hopefully hopefully fingers crossed. We are gonna see a window here. Okay. Now remember, this is in the game class. So in our main.cpp, we need to create an object of our game. So game, game, and uh, of course we have to include game .h. That's how includes work. So um, as soon as the object gets created, it's gonna go in the constructor. It's gonna initialize all our variables. It's gonna initialize our window. It's so gonna set the windows frame rate. It's gonna set to running equals true. So hopefully let's let's try to run and hopefully we will see a window popping out to the screen. There we go, it's compiling, generating code, everything was successful. Hopefully we will see a window. Okay. Okay, the code is running and it's loading all systems. Yeah. So okay, okay. So if you guys saw or not, but there was a window that quickly popped up and then closed itself. Now the reason for that is that our window was successfully in initialized. Okay, there was no errors. But the thing is that we don't have any any sort of game loop. Okay, which means that the the window is just gonna pop up and just cease into exist cease to exist like uh, like right away. So we don't have any game loop. Now for just for this uh, purpose, I think uh, I think uh, what I'll do is that I will just make a loop here, just a dummy loop called while true, so so that we we can at least see the window. So a uh, while true, and now this hopefully give us a window, just for this video to see because I don't want uh, like you you guys to live very disappointed in this video. And see, we got our window, a small pong game. Now you see, I cannot like exit and resize and like minimize because we haven't set all the window events yet which we'll do in the next video because I don't want these videos to be really long I want them to be comprehensible and short uh, preferably at uh, 10 minutes or short I, I don't know how long I've been recording right now but okay so see uh, we, so we got a window that's pretty good I think yeah of course we, we cannot uh, exit it the only way to exit it is from our console awesome Let's get our running variable back. Running equals true. Awesome, guys. So that so that's I think uh, that's basically uh, what I will uh, teach you in this video. Uh, because, uh, like I said again, I don't want these videos to get uh, like uncontrollably long. I want this video to be short. I think short videos are short videos are the way to go if you guys want to learn. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another uh, video, another 
episode on this uh, series, I should say. That's, that's hopefully going to come tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.